open the fences of your life. Ordinarily, from the time you are born till the time you are sitting on this chair in this auditorium, you have done nothing but created fences and fences and fences around you. We think that we know everything and nothing is there beyond this. Open up. Please try to open your minds. Religion is a fence. My religion is the best, is a fence. I don't want to see anything other than this is a fence. Knowledge, the degree that you have, the doctor creates a fence around him that he knows everything. But one day when he starts practicing, as in how he goes higher and higher, he realizes that I don't know anything. I don't know whether all the things that is written in the book works. Another fence, fence over fence. He wants to break this fence and we are inside that fence like a helpless individual. If you want to enjoy life, open the fence. And when you open the fences, break these limiting thoughts. Life becomes beautiful, life becomes a possibility. And what are we doing? With the, with the kind of knowledge. And let me tell you, knowledge is the biggest food for ego. Knowledge. Even the man who is working in a garage, I'm not trying to put that person down, the mechanic, if he works on the car for one year, he starts feeling that he knows everything about the car. And if there is a M-Tech engineer who comes and says, Dekho, ye ye problem hai, the garage bale bale, aapko kuch nahi bata. Main bata ta hoon, ye kaar mein kya problem hai. He talks from his ego. He has this fence that this person does not know, I know. Once in a while, pick up this big called as Ashtavakras Gita. A king. We have not risen to that level. We are just with designation. A king listens to an ordinary person called as Ashtavakra. Come down. Even an Ashtavakra may be able to teach me so many things. I don't know. You might have friends. How can a young guy tell me all these things? Jada mene dunya dekha hai. That is your thought process. Your physical age might be 70. My physical age might only be some 40, 42. But I might be 400 years old. Who knows? I might have appeared here many times. Who knows? You might have come here for the first time. Who knows? We really don't know anything about life. So let us not argue on these fences. Open up. Everything is a possibility. The ego says, I know everything. A person working in the bank, he thinks he knows everything about the bank. There are many things beyond this. Don't carry the ego. If you ask a Buddha, many times when Buddha was walking on this planet, people asked Buddha, is there God? Because you have got enlightened and you don't talk about a God. So we want to, just a confirmation from your mouth, say there is no God and we want to be happy about it. But Buddha will not answer this way. A Buddha says, I don't know. There can be, there cannot be. I have not experienced it yet. I don't know. A vast openness, who knows? We really don't know what is the and these are the crown of ignorance. You and I are egoistic about our designations, our, about our degrees, about our religion, about our society. We, we are blocking our thoughts to everything on this planet. Open up. Open up to newer possibilities. Drop this ignorance. And ignorance is a demonic quality. Krishna explains this to Arjuna very beautifully. If you can just take this one liner from here, you can change your life. Dambo darpo bhimanasyam krodham parushyam evachyam adnyanam chabijatasyam partha sampadasurim. I know you will not understand anything. I will explain this to you. Oh, pride, darpo, arrogance. Abhiman, superior pride. Dambo, Darpo, Vimanashyam, Krodham. Always in our pockets. Parushyamevachyam. Harshness. 
Don't let soft go down. Don't be so harsh in your life. Adnyanam, ignorance, chabi jatasyam, jiske jat me ye hai. Sampada asurim, complete qualities of demons. These things, you might be thinking what all I have in your personal life. Think about it and drop this. Even if you decide to drop any of these qualities, you are on a newer path. Remember this. We might meet once again or no, I don't know. But this is a final message to you. That please drop these demonic qualities. Not needed. And many a times when I say that, keep yourself open. Drop the fences. Everything that you know might not be right. Can we come ahead of this ego? When you talk about the Gita, many a times I talk to people and say that the Gita, everybody is talking about Krishna. That Krishna spoke this and Krishna spoke that. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But the Gita happened because not just Krishna spoke, but because Arjuna listened. Arjuna was available. Arjuna was a king, remember this. Not that he did not go to school and he did not know anything about life, but he was open there to the master that I am collapsing. I don't know anything. Help me. And whatever Krishna was telling him, it was going deep inside him. Uh, Arjuna is needed in the society. The Krishna is available. We are blocks to everything. And can we all come out of this ego? Are people taught for thousands of years, you and I, that the earth is flat. Few hundred years back, somebody said, the earth is round. Khatam. All those people who are in that fixed belief, we cannot be fixed with beliefs. Be open to newer beliefs. We don't know what is the ultimate truth. Somebody said that the earth is still and every other planet is revolving around. Just recently we came to know that the earth is also rotating and revolving at the same time. You cannot be stuck to beliefs. Not even the modern science. Albert Einstein came and gave you all the lessons of particle physics. Neil Bohr came and said, not done. This is not right. Werner Heisenberg says it is absolutely wrong. Quantum physics works. What? New things will come. We don't know what is the ultimate truth. We really do not know. When you and I were in the school, we were taught that the cell has a nucleus inside and the nucleus is the brain of the cell. Few years back, Bruce Lipton comes and says the nucleus is not Bruce Lipton says, remove the nucleus, nothing will happen to the cell. Conventional biology collapsed. A new biology has appeared. Can we be open to things? Or we say, no, 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 no. This is not right. Open up. Come open to newness and you will see a new life coming into your existence.